Yeah, hello out there in the community. It's Chris. It's the Mad Respect. Greetings all. Uh, it's time for my uh, library haul. Library graphic novel haul. I got to the library and two bags. Two very full bags today. So let's just carefully take out everything from the first bag. What was really cool is on top of the bags the actual library had in in building service so I was able to look around and grab a few other things like I used to in the past. I was really happy about that. So in bag number one we have Yummy, which is a Shudder original. Human flesh, never tasted so good. Looks pretty good. We have Winter Ridge. Winter Ridge. This is one I grabbed out of the DVD section when I was able to go inside, as was Southbound. I may have seen this. I'm not entirely sure. The Cleaning Lady, another grab off of the shelves. As was Hatchet which I have been hearing about on the community in the past week or so. They had a, on Dylan's horror show, they discussed Adam Green's uh, filmography. The Rental, this was another one of those straight to uh, video movies back during COVID in the summer last year. Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker. I haven't seen it in good quality since I saw it in the theater back in December of 2019. I did watch a bootleg stream of it once, but uh, this will be the first time I get to watch it in at least DVD quality. And we have Countdown. There's an app for that. This is another uh, horror type movie with a shtick about cell phones, I guess. And this one, they had so few copies in the system and so many people ordering it. It took me close to a year to get my hands on a copy of this. And last, we have Billions, the complete season four on Amazon. Uh, in February, they had Billions added to the site. And I watched the first three seasons and was really, really enjoying it. Before I found out that season four and five, you actually have to subscribe to Showtime to watch. So... Being left on a big cliffhanger drove me nuts, but now I have at least season four to watch. Thank you, Snow Isle Library. Mad respect. That's done with the movies. So, here are some graphic novels. We got B Stars Volume 10. This is by Peru Itagaki. This is one that I was watching the anime with my daughter on Netflix. And. My daughter finds all this crazy good stuff to watch on the on the Netflix or online. Uh, Beastars is one of them. The newest one we're watching is called Danganronpa. Uh, and that's pretty crazy, but there's no uh, no manga for that. But Beastars Volume 10 uh, goes beyond where the anime left off, but I guess the anime is coming back this summer on Netflix, and maybe this will be part of it. Uh, I've been reading it since uh, the ones after the anime. Next we have Iron Man Extremist by Warren Ellis and Adi Granov. Uh, the cover they show on the website is just a close-up of his helmet. And I've actually checked out that version before, which was a soft cover. But this must be a new version for the library. They must have lost one of their older copies. But this is the Marvel Select Edition. And then we have Superman Red Sun, the deluxe edition by Mark Millar and Dave Johnson. This is Superman if he had landed in Russia. And we have a novel. We have The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. This is on a list of uh, horror or suspense novels that I looked at recently. This is one I grabbed off the shelf when I was in the... In the building, this is The Sixth Gun by Cullen Bunn and Brian Hurt. I heard about this one in the community. Someone said it's probably their favorite Cullen Bunn uh, graphic novel. Has a lot to live up to. I've read a lot of cool horror uh, 
Combine one, so we'll see how that one holds up. And then we have King of Nowhere by W. Maxwell Prince, Tyler Jenkins, and Hillary Jenkins. Uh, w. Maxwell Prince, uh, best known for Ice Cream Man. This is uh, an original uh, series he did for Boom, a uh, miniseries. Looking forward to reading this. If it's anywhere half as good as Ice Cream Man, I'm pretty excited. Next up, Gideon Falls, Volume 5, Wicked Worlds, by Jeff Lemire, Andrea Sorrentino, and Dave Stewart. This collects 22 through 26, and the final issue is 27. So I guess the final trade is just going to be number 27 with some, a lot of bonus features. I'm not sure. But they do have number 27 at my LCS, and it's been the last two trips I've made. So in the event that it's there at the start of April, I'll probably finally pick it up because I'll be ready to read it. Here is Abbott by Saladin Ahmed, Sami Kivella, and Jason Woodrow. Jason Wordy, sorry. Uh, there's a new series, Abbott 1973, currently going on now from Boom. This is the original miniseries. And then we have Billionaire Island from Mark Russell, Steve Pugh, and Quiris Chukri. Let's see. Oh, it's an Ahoy comic. This will be my first Ahoy comic that I read. I've heard uh, everything they do is good, but uh, the library has not had a lot of Ahoy comics. Then we have Teen Titans. This is volume four. It's called Robin No More. On the library site, it's called uh, Jin Battle or something. Uh, but obviously, they changed the title between its original association and now. And this one includes this one. this one that I have the floppy of. Looking forward to finally being able to read this story. Uh, I've been reading uh, Teen Titans since Adam Glass took over with the new team. And looks like now uh, Robbie Thompson is joining Adam Glass in the writing. And here we have uh, Jupiter's Legacy by Frank Quietly and written by Mark Millar. Uh, this is going to be a Netflix original movie uh, in the near future. And I know, and I, as soon as I heard that, I knew as soon as the, it came out on Netflix, there would be like 20 people in line holding this. So I decided to get a jump on it. And then here we have True Believer, The Rise and Fall of Stan Lee, a biography by Abraham Reisman, or Reisman. Uh, I've had this uh, on hold since last fall when it was originally supposed to come out I believe in October but it must have been pushed back to February but as soon as it was uh, finally published they had it with me under a week I'm pretty excited about that all right let's get to bag number two Big ones in here. Pretty cool. All right, bag number two starts with Young Justice, Volume Three, Warriors and Warlords. This is by uh, Brian Michael Bendis and looks like also David F. Walker, since they uh, brought uh, Naomi into the series. This could, these issues of Young Justice could be considered a sequel to the Naomi miniseries, which I thought was some of the very best work uh, Bendis has done at uh, DC. But this is volume three. Then we have Breakwater by Katriana Chapman. Katriona Chapman, yeah. Uh, this one I uh, saw on a list of upcoming graphic novels, uh, more on the literary side of things. Looking really forward to this, Transformers. Versus the Terminator, Enemy of My Enemy, from IDW and Dark Horse. It's a pretty sweet cover. Uh, I heard about this when I first started collecting floppies again in the summer, and been looking forward to being out in uh, trade. Here we have The Invaders, Volume 1. This is by Chip Sadarsky. Carlos Magno Butch Juice. Uh, I'm going to have to check out the second volume of this. 
Uh, now that I have volume one, I look forward to reading this. This might have been the second time I've checked this out, but I've been way more into uh, Zdarsky's writing since the first time I checked it out, so I'll definitely check it out this time. And here we got Monstrous, uh, the book one, probably deluxe, you call this deluxe edition or omnibus. Deluxe the first 18 issues by Marjorie Liu and Sana Takeda. Takeda. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was on no list of uh, horror or fantasy graphic novels I ever read, but I saw it there, 1 through 18. I like big books like this to get a good deep dive. Here we have Tana French, In the Woods. The inspiration for the Dublin Murders on Stars. I, didn't, I hadn't ever heard anything about that, but this was on a list of uh, horrific graphic novels. Uh, the same list that I got the recommendation for... Uh, Devil All the Time, which I thought was a really crazy and great novel. And this one says, uh, it's not necessarily horror with monsters and stuff, but it's horror in the sense that it's really hard to read because it is so intense. So I've been looking forward to getting my hands on this since I read that little blurb. And then we have After the Rain. This is by Jennings, Brahm, and Okafor. Uh, this, uh, so, it's adapted from a short story by Nanetti Okafor, written by John Jennings, illustrated by David Brame. Uh, this was on an uh, upcoming list of graphic novels, same as The Breakwater, so I put it on hold. Here we have Venom Unleashed, Volume 1, which features three or four uh, specials. Written by uh, Sir Cates, Donny Cates. Looks like there's some Stegman art in here too, so I'm looking forward to reading this. I've read uh, uh, Stegman's entire run on Venom, uh, Cates' entire run on Venom, looking forward to that. Also looking forward to Avengers Volume 7, The Age of Khonshu. Uh, I've, I've enjoyed Jason Aaron's run. This is by Aaron with some Ed McGinnis, Mana, and Garon. Uh, I've been enjoying this run of Avengers. Uh, I've been reading Avengers since uh, pre-Hickman. So, uh, I've, I always love the Avengers. It's just like, unless it's like really horribly written, you know. Which it hasn't been since Bendis, in my opinion. Uh, I, I quite enjoy it. Fat Man Detective Comics Cold Vengeance. This is by Peter J. Tomasi and Doug Mank. But I also know there is an issue in here by Tom Taylor because I have the floppy that I got recently and it says by Taylor so let me double check to make sure I'm sure about that maybe it was Taylor the artist nope Tom Taylor does write an issue in here but uh I've been reading Detective since I don't know twice as long as I've been alive I don't know or half as long as I've been alive so I'll always continue reading it Firepower Volume 3 if you include the Prelude Trade Paperback, but it does say Volume 2, Home Fire, even though this Prelude Volume 1, I guess it's not Volume 2, but the third volume of Stories of Firepower. And this collects the initial series. It says Firepower 1 through 6, but I don't know. Is that true? I don't know. Maybe I've already read this. But it said it just came out, so I'm not 100% not sure. So now there's the prelude and then the first six issues. So maybe I already have already read this, or maybe I never read the six issues. I don't know. I thought I had. Uh, Hawkman, Hawks Eternal. This is volume four of Robert Vendetti's series, and I believe this finishes it up, issues 20 through 29. This has been a really cool series. Uh, you could take this series and uh, make a decent Hawkman movie out of... Uh, out of it. I said that in the first volume and I said, uh, I wouldn't go that far, but now I'm saying, yeah, I would go far, that far. This is really great, Hawkman. For a character like Hawkman, this is really great. And here's the rest of uh, Young Justice. These are both just by Brian Michael Bendis. Volume 1, Gem World. Volume 2, Lost in the Multiverse. Uh, so let's take place before Naomi joins the team and David F. Walker joins the creative team. So, I tried to read volume one uh, previously, and 
Then I get the ribbon out. I have the whole thing. I can do a deep dive and just plow through the whole thing because I'm not a super Bendis hater like a lot of people in the community. Here's a uh, treasury edition of History of the Marvel Universe. This is by Mark Wade with Javier Rodriguez and Alvaro Lopez who were the creative team on Daredevil once upon a time. Uh, this entire team was the creative team on Daredevil once upon a time. But looking pretty awesome. It's just going to be awesome to look at, if nothing else. But and another big boy, we have Adventure Man, Volume 1. This is by Matt Fraction and Terry and Rachel Dodson. Clayton Cowles on letters. Uh, this is a nice, great, big uh, treasure size uh, trade paperback. I wasn't expecting that when I checked it out. But. And last but not least, we have Bowie. Stardust Ray Guns and Moonish Daydreams. This one is written and drawn by Michael Allred with Steve Horton and Laura Allred on the colors. Uh, this one I heard about in the community, Rock and Robbie Live. Rock and Robbie bought himself a copy, but I went and looked at the library the same night I saw it and they had it there, so I said, hey, I'll give it a spin too. So that is my monstrous haul from the library for uh, March here. So. Hopefully you can find me tonight on Peter Parker Comics uh, for his Monday night auction. Uh, I was invited uh, previously. Uh, so hopefully in a few hours you'll see me up on there and I'll see you guys all then. Until then, if you've read any of this or want to read any of this, leave a comment down below. Uh, put a like on the video if you like it. And subscribe. I'm Still around the same amount of subscribers, but as soon as we hit 50, I'm going to have my giveaway. So, everybody take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.